Hi, my name is Lindsay Langford. I'm the sports dietitian at St. Vincent Sports Performance, and this is your USA Gymnastics Nutrition Tip of the Month. We're going to talk about food labels and how to read them and what they really mean. So anytime I start to read a food label, you first want to look at your serving size. So here we have one cup but then also how many are in the container. It can be very tricky sometimes when you're eating a bag of trail mix and you realize 190 calories, but there are three servings within that, that container. So definitely pay attention to the serving amount. The next thing that I look at would be calories. There are 190 calories within this product. One piece of education for you on calories is that the only three things on this food label that contribute to calories are fat, carbohydrates, and protein. So carbohydrates and protein have four calories per gram, and a gram of fat equals nine calories. So within those three items, that gives us our total calories of 190. So then we're looking at our fat content. So in this product, there are zero grams of saturated fat and trans fat, and that's really good. Saturated and trans fats are the fats that clog arteries and can decrease performance. We really wanna to try to limit those. Another big thing that I look at is fiber content. The more fiber we have in our diet, the more full you're gonna feel. It also helps with cholesterol levels. One thing to, to know is that listed under carbohydrates, you'll see fiber and you'll also see sugars. Both of those items, sugar and fiber, are carbohydrates, which is why they're listed underneath there. And they both contribute to the total grams of carbohydrates listed on your food label. This product has nine grams of protein. Since we're talking about cereal for this example, that would be a high protein cereal in my opinion. More than five grams would be high. If this was a grilled chicken breast, then that would be low. The next thing that we look at are vitamin and mineral content and to see the percentage there. That's the percentage of the daily values needed within your day. And then the last thing that I would, would look at would be the ingredient label. General rule of thumb is that you want to have the fewer ingredients, the better. So that's the rundown of the nutrition label hope next time you travel to the store you'll start to read food labels a little bit more and more than anything that you understand them. Thanks for tuning in, have a great day, and for more sports nutrition information follow us on Facebook and Twitter.